Welcome to the hills, and I ain't talking Beverly. Look around and see where we're different pedigree. It may seem like we want y'all to let us be, but we just trying to get ahead of steam in a better seat. In this theater of life, we feeling ripped off. They acting clean cut like we need to rinse off. We hear the skin jokes, what else? and the insults yep. from your kin folks like we always been broke. Yep. Guys, people come in various types and colors, yeah. so why we feel the need to classify each other? We all have them, and some don't even know it. Right. Then your daughter brings home a friend, then you start to show it. Just go with it, man, just go with it. We all fall short and need of someone to show us that. There's another level. There's another level. <laughs> yeah, I see you inside. Um, hmm. You're in a hurry. <laughs> Uh, can you tell me where the tiny screwdriver is? No, why? Because you tied my basketball shoes together in some crazy knot, and I can't get them out. <laughs> I don't think I did that. Man, who did? The movers? The movers tied my shoes together. Maybe I did. I don't know. So? Did you check the middle drawer in the kitchen? I put a few things in there thinking that it could be the junk drawer. Yeah, it's not there. Toolbox. No, it's it's always separate from the toolbox. Then I don't know. Why don't you use something else? Because I want the tiny screwdriver. All right. Well, look. I gotta go. Dana's at the door, and we're about to get dinner with the client. Hi. Well, that's fine. That's fine. So I'll talk to you later then. Okay. All right. I love you. Love you too. Hi. Hi. How's Josh? Stressed for some reason. You ready? Yeah. Well, you guys just moved, right? Yeah. Things are still a little out of place. What area did you move to again? Uh, Springfield Township near Cincinnati Mills. Hmm. Wow. That area is pretty urban, isn't it? Our street's really cute. Good. Yeah, Josh has a ton of school debt, but uh, our house was crazy affordable. Okay. Well, that's great. Good. Um, <laughs> Tom is going to meet us down in the lobby, so... Yeah, all right. Uh, let me just make sure I have my key. Oh, okay. All set. Hey, George. Fixing something, huh? Hey, you wouldn't by chance have uh, like a little tiny screwdriver, would you? Sorry. That's all good. Hey, uh, do you know if they're really serious down there at the court? I'm actually trying to play some basketball and all I have are these ratty shoes. I just don't want to look like an idiot, you know? Okay, thanks, George. Wish me luck.
Why are you being so mean to our new neighbor? I'm not being mean. You're not being nice. He, he uses words like little tiny. What's giving him the cold shoulder gonna accomplish? Look, I don't wanna tell you how you should behave, but- Then don't. George, you can't ignore him. He's here and he's staying whether you like it or not. So you might as well be a grown up about it. Yeah. Now hurry up so we can go get something to eat. It's a jungle out here. Who's ready to fight? Move it without fear. Ain't scared of the truth. In your mouth. In your game face. How we play, we don't sugarcoat the way that this pain tastes. Ain't no whistle blowing practice. It's a game tape. No office desk with the coach's name plate. You may think twice before you come back this way. Before you do, you better practice your practice. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You gotta keep fouling. Stop fouling. Fouling, man. What we tell you, bruh? Stop calling that. I'm about to go home with all that. Come on, boy, this ain't no soccer. Go home, All right, all right, okay, all right. Wait, 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 wait. It's all right, it's all right. Your ball, your ball. Foul, it's your... Oh, yeah, you keep no. fouling me. Okay, I'm just yeah, you right here, bro. No, right here. Don't let him fight, boy. Wait, wait, wait. Get up, get up. Get up. I think his shoe's on fire. His shoe's on fire, y'all. Life was so much easier before now. happening. Yeah, I would like to order a pizza. Delivery. 10936 Morningside. Why? What do you mean safety issue? Fine. Thanks. Yeah. Hi, uh, I would like to order a pizza. Delivery. 10936 Morningside. All right, wait, wait, what's going on? Do you guys too? Yeah, but it's barely even dark out. Yeah, I, I don't want to pick it up. I want it delivered. Yeah, well, you know what? Your policy's done. Why wouldn't it work? Tia. George. You can't have a store that just sells scarves. I think it's a brilliant idea. Better than being a bank teller. Mm, I thought you thought you liked being a bank teller. Mm. People love my scarves. Well, people love your scarves. What kind of a store would you open? A fishing store? Why would I open a store? Say somebody is making you. <laughs> making me? Yes. Somebody has a gun to your head. What? And they're making you open a store or you're dead. <laughs> I would open a hammer store and whack that someone in the head. <laughs> Make me open a store. That's the stupidest thing I ever heard. Oh, ever? Maybe. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Doubt it. <laughs> Ooh, shoot.
<laughs> Anything? Nah. A little foreplay is all. You hear anything about last night? Radio said something about gunfire, and uh, they're looking into reports of an abandoned car in Hamilton that might be related. What does that mean? Beats me. Was it close? I, I couldn't tell I was half asleep. Your mom thinks that it's gangs. Of course she does. <sighs> Did we make a mistake? What? No. Look, it's fine. I'm sure, I'm sure it's nothing. Dana said that our neighborhood is urban. Okay, nothing's changed. All right, we got a great little spot. We have great neighbors. And there's a little park down the street. Don't let Dana get into your head. I know. So I'll see you this afternoon? Yeah, we leave for the airport right after our breakfast meeting downstairs. Okay. Well, just call me when you land. I will. Love you. I love you too. How's the new neighbor? Fine. You know, his wife's pretty hot. I saw her out jogging the other morning. If you say so. Why are you so sour towards them? Who says I'm sour? Tia. She said they brought you brownies the other night, and all you did was mumble two words at them. I was tired. You're a bigot. Am I now? Yep. You hate them because they're white and they're pretty. <laughs> I don't hate you. That's because I'm not pretty. And you're not white. You're pink, like a gerbil. Words do sting, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I've been in that house 23 years. I know a thing or two about who grows roots and who doesn't. Who's real, who's not. Yeah, well, wouldn't kill you to be nice. Wouldn't kill you to shut up and fish. Well, have you seen any drug deals? Oh yeah, what, are you kidding me? Hundreds. Don't be like that. I'm just concerned. Who are you talking to? Josh. Joshy? You're alive! Oh, your brother's eating ice cream for breakfast. Awesome. Have you uh, found any broken dishes or nicked up things from the move? Nope. Not yet. Oh, good. That's always such a bummer about moving. Yep. All right. Well, I'll let you go. Be safe, and we'll see you next weekend. Okay, bye, Mom. Thank you.
Looking good. <laughs> Me or the flowers? You a mess. <laughs> you eat yet? No, not yet. What time is it? It's lunchtime. Oh. <laughs> you hungry? Oh, I could eat a little something. <laughs> then eat. Were you going to? Eh, not yet. Well, what time do you think you will? <laughs> Goodness, are you a toddler or something? Make your own lunch if you're hungry. My word, this retirement is turning you into a helpless baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's he doing? <laughs> Struggling. Poor baby's been working on that fence for a half an hour now. His tremor's giving him fits. <laughs> you, why don't you go and see if he needs a little help? I'm just going to get some more compost from the bag. He'll be fine. Quit looking at me like that. Hey, George. Tia says you're having troubles. <laughs> yeah. Well, I brought you these if you're interested. Roofing shingles? Yeah. You just uh, lay them down along your fence where your moor won't reach, and it'll kill the grass in a couple of days, and you can plant some ground cover. Wow, OK, thanks. Yeah, you know, ivy's your best option, but you, you can do whatever. Are you messing with me right now? No. I mean, it's better than bending over with those clippers every week. That's true, yeah. Uh, well, yeah, uh, I'll, I'll talk with Ann when she gets back, see what she thinks, and uh, maybe we can get some of our own. I want to keep more on yours, you know? You know what? Let me just, yeah, I can, uh, yeah, I'll just take them right, I'll just take them now, and, uh, and then just do it. I don't need to ask Ann, right? Um, thanks, thanks, George, thanks. Sure. Um, so what do I do, I just line them out here, or? Like your laying towel. Great. Great. Uh, do you want me to give you back the, the extras? Don't worry about it. Oh. Okay. Um, hey, George, did, uh, did you hear that noise last night? Gunshot? Is, is that what it was? Probably. I don't know. I'm just wondering, is that something that I, or that we should be, you know, concerned about, or? Nah. Gang stuff usually works itself out. So you said gangs? Are you serious? Hey, thanks. Thanks again, George. Hi. Hi. Um, yeah, so we're, we're just doing an outreach where we're helping people with their lawns or anything that needs cleaned or, or raked or whatever. Uh, we just want to help make things better out in the community. I think I'm good. You sure? We, we have all the tools. I see that. Well, can we give you our card? If you like. Okay. Here you go. Okay, well, I guess we'll get going. Try 
try this one. Okay, well, I guess I'll just knock. Hi, can I help you? Oh, are you with another group? Uh, I'm sorry? <laughs> are you doing the lawn outreach? Uh, I'm about to rake my yard, if that's what you mean. Oh, you live here? Yeah, I do. Oh. Oh, um, uh, we're on a lawn outreach. Okay. <laughs> well, we're just going through the neighborhood, you know, cleaning up people's yards or whatever. It's just a practical way to help those in need. Uh, uh is it? What? <laughs> I mean, is it practical? Because I, mean, I just moved in and it seems to me everybody's yard is in pretty good shape. <laughs> um, your assistant. Yes, I know. That's why I'm out here, actually. I gotta keep up with this guy, so. <laughs> um, so, so do you, do you want us to help? Or? Uh, nah, I'm actually, I'm actually good. I'm, I've been looking forward to this, believe it or not. <laughs> um, just moved here from an apartment, so I, I don't get to rake leaves or clean my gutters or any of that stuff, but uh, thanks, guys. Thank you. I appreciate it. Okay, well, uh, I guess we'll get going then. Yeah, okay. All right, see ya. See ya. Who's winning? Duh. <laughs> mm. Lennon's wife, three letters. Oh, no. Oh. What's your plan for the rest of the afternoon? Mm. Barnyard bird. Dodo. Three letters. Cow. Bird. Three letter bird. You got me. In a barnyard? I, I, <sighs> Look, I'm, I'm gonna go make some lunch. Do you want some? No, thanks. I'm gonna hold off till later. Kurt's coming over with some fish to grill up. Oh, you caught enough to eat? <laughs> no, from his uh, Canada trip last week. Keeps bragging about it. <laughs> How are you and Jess doing? All right, I think. Okay. Hen. What? Barnyard bird. It's a hen. I just oh, thought of it. Oh, man. How did <laughs> I not get that one? Because uh, you don't have a big brain like I do. Dodo brain. <laughs> Pete, it's uh, Josh. Call me back as soon as you can. Williams, it's Josh. Um, can you call me back as soon as you get this? I'm 
kind of freaking out, and uh, I need someone I can talk to. Isaac, it's Josh. Uh, nobody's picking up their phones. I need you to... Actually, you know what? I'm going to text you a picture, okay? Uh, I need you to call me back as soon as you can. And uh, don't show mom. Yo, where have you been? I was out. Where? Mom's making me do laundry. So I was out getting detergent, you stalker. Yeah, did you get my text, though? Yeah. And? Looks like the white pony to me. The what? The toot. The nose candy. The sneeze powder. Dude, this isn't a joke, man! I'm not joking. So, what, you think it's cocaine? Beats me. You're the social worker. They don't show you what cocaine looks like, you idiot! Well, did you open it? No. Why not? I don't know. There was this car, it had tinted windows, and it just looked really shady, so I, d I didn't know what to do. Man, life in the hood ain't easy. Dude, it's not the, it's not the hood. Was it in the front? No, it's, uh, it's tucked away in the side yard. Hmm. Okay, so what should I do? I don't want to touch it, though. Why? Because if it's a dealer's and they see me messing with it. Are you kidding me? Or... It's nothing. Yeah, but... Call the cops. And say what? That, uh, th there's a white package in my yard? You, they they'd arrest me for being stupid. You're a smart kid. You'll figure it out. So that's it? What do you want me to say? I don't know. Something. Anything. Just advice, maybe. I don't have any answers, Josh. Either it's cocaine or it's not. So take a jog. Eat a salad. I don't know. Do something healthy. Because I got nothing. Yeah, no kidding. You're worthless. <sighs> All right, I guess, I'll, I guess I'll let you know. Quit. That's my little brother. <laughs> Shoot, I'm about to take it, bro. <laughs> no. Hey, man. Hey, you dropped something. It's like, it's like four dollars or something. Man. Hey, I'll take it. You gonna take the new dudes four dollars? Finders keepers, right? I ain't going somewhere. Man, you gonna take that? Come on, y'all. Hey, man. Hey. Hey, what's going on? Your money, man. Hey, guys, I don't want any trouble. What? I mean, I'm just running. I didn't do anything. Just be cool. I didn't do anything. Dude, <laughs> you dropped your money, man. <laughs> oh, I... No, I thought you guys oh, were... What you do? Listen, I thought you guys were coming up. You startled up, me, and I didn't know... <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry.
Hey. Hey. <laughs> What's up? I don't know. Okay. I overheard Josh on the phone. He's talking kind of crazy. Um, could you pass me a towel? Yeah. About what, hon? He thinks there's cocaine in his yard, but he's scared to touch it. What do you mean, cocaine? That's what he said. In his yard? Where? I don't know. Why would there be cocaine in his yard? That's stupid. How am I supposed to know? <laughs> so? Now, I don't know what to do. Well, I don't know what to do. Have you talked to him about it? No. He went for a run, I think. He seems all jittery. He's probably nervous. Yeah. I'm surprised you care. I don't care. I'm curious. Yeah. Seems like you care. Hey, hey, hey. Dude, he's running through the woods. You call Michelle and see. Josh. Uh, hey, I, um, I, I... Please tell me that's not yours. What? No. I, I just, uh... But was... do you know whose coke it is? Is it that guy's down the street? How did you know that I have it? Will you listen to my call? It's a pack of diapers. Diapers? What do you mean? It's, how could there be a pack of diapers in my yard? Why would there be a pack of cocaine in your yard? Well, because it's... Hmm. I mean, I, I'm not used to, like, I, I just moved here. Yeah. I'm not used to, mm -hmm. you know, I, that's. <laughs> Wait, George. I didn't mean for. Come on, man, don't be mad.
Hey. Hey, what's going on? Uh, I just got out of the shower. You getting your bags? Not quite. I thought your flight got in at 2.30. Yeah, well, we missed our connection, so we're delayed until 7, maybe longer. <laughs> what? Yeah, it sucks. All right. You okay? Not really. It's kind of been a weird day. <sighs> Same here. Well, I'll just call you when I get in. Okay. You were here. My hands could stop their shaking. If you were here, you'd keep my thoughts from racing. When you are here, it's not all storms and sirens, cause you I'm, uh, I'm Kurt. I live over on Tree Hill. It's uh, three streets over. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm a friend of George's. Oh, hi. Yeah. <laughs> How are you liking the neighborhood so far? I mean, you just moved in, right? Uh, yeah. It's, it's all right, I guess. <laughs> I've lived here my whole life. You know, oh. My friend Jesse Williams used to live in this house. Oh, no way. Yeah. <laughs> hey, listen, um, I was just bringing some fish over for George, and uh, they, okay. they seem to have stepped out. So I was hoping that maybe I could leave it here with you and you can give it to them when they get back? Sure, that's no problem. Okay. Want to check out the old place, see if anything changed? Yeah, I'd like that. All right, come on in. All right. Woke me up here. Oh, just, sorry about that. No, no, that's okay. I need it. I need it. Okay. Doesn't look much different. <laughs> nah. The kitchen. The kitchen's even still yellow. Yeah. Uh, don't get used to that, that's for sure. Yeah. <laughs> um... Should do with these guys. From the freezer, oh, fridge, fridges, fridge. Okay. okay. Yeah. Is that walleye? Yep. Oh yeah. Yours? Yep. Caught it a couple of weeks ago up in Terrace Bay. I got more than I know what to do with. Nice. Yeah. Uh, my mom's family they have a place up on Lake Michigan. Uh, you said Terrace Bay, like, Terrace Bay, Canada? Yeah. It's on Ontario. Yeah. 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 Wow. You get up there often? Uh, you know, every year I try to get up there. I usually just take the camper, though. Yeah. You know. Where are you at up in Michigan? Um, near, well, it's Grand Haven. No, no it's near Grand Rapids. Oh, okay. Right All yeah. right. You guys do a little fishing up there? Yeah, not as much as, man, not as much as I'd want to. But um, sort of as a hobby, though, I like to make lures. Kinda. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> it's weird. What do you guys mostly get up there in, in New Grand, Grand Haven? Yeah, yeah. Uh, steelhead, really. Yeah? That's about it. Yeah. Now, George, uh, George and I fish a little spot up north uh, town here oh, just really? a bit. Uh, yeah, it, um, really only get usually bluegill, but uh, every once in a while we do catch a smallmouth. Lucky, if you're lucky. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you should go with us sometime. Yeah, I doubt that's going to happen. Uh, George is just a little rough around the edges. Yeah, you could say that. He'll come around. I will see. <laughs>
Well, uh, just let them know I stopped by. For sure, for sure. It's a pleasure to meet you. Um, love to invite you back when all this is different. Yeah. Just yeah. keep the yellow, though. I don't think I can. I can't. <laughs> Not in good conscience. All right, man. All right. Take care. Me See too. you, Josh.
Hi, Josh. Hi. Kurt brought over some fish. She just dropped it off. Oh, for you guys. thanks. Yeah. Thanks for that. Sure. So you guys settling in over there? Um. Yeah, we're trying. Mm -hmm. Anne's been in St. Louis all week, so oh. I haven't gotten a thing done. Oh. She's not. Lost she's not. without her, are you? I, yeah. I mean, we've been apart before, but mm -hmm. it's. I guess I'm ready for her to come back. Yeah, you don't know what to do with yourself, do you? I, I don't. I'm yeah. just. <laughs> yeah, yeah. George is the same way whenever I leave. Really? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're all the same. <laughs> yeah. Well, oh, it looks like you have some company over there. Oh. Yep, that's for me. Okay. Okay, well, enjoy the fish. We will. Okay. Thanks. Yep. Bye. Oh, Bye. and tell Ann I said hey when she gets back. Will do. Okay. What's in the bag? <laughs> A little treat. Did you do anything besides laundry today? No. So you going to stay at Mom's for the rest of your life, or what's going on? What do you care? <laughs> the job might do you good, I think. Ooh, you should talk. Well, I start next week, so... <laughs> um, yeah, do you want to grab a few boxes? Um, I just got to dry off real quick. I got wet from the car wash. I'll wait out here for you. Uh, why? Uh, this is more of an outdoor treat. <laughs> what do you mean? We must partake outside as opposed to inside, like uh, on the porch. Okay, but I don't have any porch furniture. Okay, so. okay. Uh, in the garage. We'll set on those boxes. But why don't we just, I have chairs Wouldn't inside. Wouldn't you just go? Man, you're being difficult. <laughs> I am, really. Yeah, go, hurry up. It has to be outside. Go, go. Fine, fine, hurry, fine, hurry, fine. Hey, George, could you help with the groceries? What are you doing? Don't worry, I got one for you too, brother. And a 40 water. Abs absolutely not, I'm not doing this. Gosh, yes, man, if you were gonna live in the hood, you have got to learn to adapt. Come on. No, no I... Get in here, come on. Yep, nope. Seriously, would you take that off? You look like an idiot right now. Dude, I look good, one. Two, I tied yours for you. You have no excuse, put it on. I'm not wearing this, I, I'm, I'm just not wearing it. Okay, just, 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 can you please stop? Stop, we're just getting started, man. All right, stand up. All right, now we're gonna pour some out for that guy who got killed last night. Yeah, we're not doing, this is it, that's it. This, right. this is it, that's, this is the best idea I've had yet. Seriously, sit down. Right he here. got shot in your yard for stashing diapers and you want me to sit down? Yeah, I want you to sit down. No, would dude. You please, would you please sit down, would you please sit down? Tell you what, I'll sit down if you stand up with me. Yes, yes? Yeah, okay. okay. This is all I'm doing, this okay. is all I'm doing. Look, all right, now come on, come on. Seriously, we look like, I'm, I, no, I can't. I, nah. Where's it, where, no. Do I have to do this? Hey, guys. My brother thought, you know, thought it'd be funny. Uh, this isn't what, what it looked I mean, we were just. Just what? Know, uh, my brother thought it would be funny, you know, just to pretend. I mean, pretend you know, to what? be. Like, like we were pouring some out, you know, like we. Like, like, like what? Like you're black? Like Tupac? I oh. just, what'd you say? Uh, hey, what'd he say? Guys, listen. Hey, we, what'd you say? Listen, listen, uh, listen. Uh, we don't want any trouble, honestly. We yeah, you keep saying that, but you keep acting stupid. And nobody asked you to move her and act stupid. I know, I know. It's... No, I don't think you do. We tried to be cool earlier. But this... Then why don't you step off? Hey, right? hey, hey, hey! 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 Hey, hey,
You need to leave. Come on, man. Don't be like that. Dude, I'm serious, dude. You gotta go right now. We were just goofing around. It... How was I supposed to know it would get like that? Well, it did. And now I have to move. You do not have to move. Yeah, I do. It was just a misunderstanding. It doesn't have to turn into a bigger deal. Are you serious? This is a huge deal for me. My entire neighborhood thinks that I'm a racist, which, look at me, look at you. Do you blame them? I was just trying to cheer you up. Well, nice work. I could go over and tell him it was my fault. Whatever, I don't even... Look, I just need to be alone. Okay, please? Is that cool? Yeah. That doesn't seem like Josh. Like you know him so well. I don't know him, but he seems nice. Well, Eric and Dee didn't think so. Oh, is everyone okay? Oh, they're fine. It might do him some good to have his bell rung a little. No, oh, I hate fights. So what are you gonna do? Nothing. But you have to talk to Josh. I'm sure he has an explanation. I already know his explanation. He's an ignorant child. I'm just saying that maybe you should solve this thing before it turns into a bigger deal. Solve this thing? Yes. It's solved. So you're just gonna stay here and fume? <laughs> no. I'm gonna stay here, I'm gonna grill my fish, and I'm gonna watch the game. But Josh is the child.
Hey. Hey. I was uh, just on my way over to see you. Same. Weird timing, right? <laughs> I need to say a few things. Yes, I, I want to do the same. I don't want to. I want to sit in front of my TV and watch the game. But I need to get some things off my chest. If we're going to be able to do this. I, I feel exactly the same way. I mean, do you want to, you want to go first or? Uh, you can go. <sighs> okay. So, last night, there were those gunshots, or whatever. And then I saw that package. And then and you told me that joke, the gang joke. And you know, I, I just don't know. I started connecting dots that weren't even there. And I mean really weren't even there. So then I went to the store, which was awful. And then I saw you with that package, and I don't, I just got nervous and confused. Obviously, you're not going to have drugs. I don't even know why my brain went there. It was just a really, really bad day. And for nothing. That's what's so dumb. It was a, a bag of diapers. And then just now. I'm so sorry you had to break up that fight. It was an embarrassing day, and I know you don't know me. But that's not who I am. What? I'm just guessing that you, that you think I'm like this huge, you know, this huge racist, and I'm seriously not. All right. I mean, everyone that we know, I'm, well, almost everyone that we know, thinks that we are just insane for moving to this neighborhood. You know, and they say it's urban. And it's just a PC suburban way of saying that it's dangerous because black people live here. And you disagree? Yes, I do. Do you? I mean, I, th I think so. We chose to live here. I mean, doesn't that say something? What's it say? It says that I'm not. George, I had one bad day. They say you see a man's true colors when things come unhinged. Yeah, well, those aren't my true colors. Trust me. How do you know? Because I know. What if you're wrong? I'm not. Okay, no offense, George, but you don't know me. And I don't appreciate being called a racist. I didn't call you a racist. I wouldn't do that. Well, you clearly have some problem with me. I don't think I do. You've pretty much ignored me since I moved in. I gave you those shingles today. I don't dislike you, Josh. I just know your type. How? I just do. And what if you're wrong? You, you probably think that I'm some sheltered white kid who had everything handed to him. And that's just not true. We were poor when I was in grade school. All right. I mean, my mom gave me these jeans that just, these fake sandpapery skids. Do you remember skids? No. Well, they were huge in my town. And all the other kids, they had the real thing, and I was just walking around on these fake ones. <sighs> Sounds tough. Are you being sarcastic? Yes. Well, I, we weren't dirt poor, I'm not saying that, but we weren't rich by any means. And I wasn't a sheltered kid either. My best friend, Charles Hunt, he was black. Oh, dear God. What? Every white person grew up on some magical street with their black best friend until they moved away in junior high. Oh, and that's not a stereotype. You don't even see what you're doing right now, do you? What am I doing, George? Trying to relate to me by convincing me you were poor. I, I don't know. I was just... Do, do you assume that I grew up poor? No. Do you think that everyone on the street is poor? No. Black does not equal poor. I never said that. But you did. That's what's so frustrating. You're so blind with assumptions, you don't realize what you do or think what you think. It's like what you did with the, uh, with the do-rags and the beer. You see one rap video and you think all young black males wear do-rags. It's why you thought the diapers were drugs. Tia says you're a social worker. I am. So you should know better, right? Than to act like you did today. 
but something somewhere inside of you trumped that head knowledge. I don't know what you want me to say, George. I don't know what you want me to do. How do I fix it? There's no quick fix to this stuff, son. You deal with the awkwardness. Isn't that what I'm doing? I'm not sure what you're doing. I'm trying to talk to you, man. And I'm trying to apologize. Do I have some prejudices that I need to work on? Obviously. But it's unfair and hypocritical of you, actually, to pretend to know who I am or to say what kind of type I am. I had a bad day. I screwed up. <laughs> if I could start it all over, I would. And I can guarantee you no one was more frustrated with today than I am. I mean, today was so bad, I almost packed up and left just now. But I hate moving. So unless you're going to move, we have to figure out how to make this work. I'm not moving. So there you go. Like your friend told me that you fish. You're going to get to know me right now. We might as well try. I do fish, yes. Well, I fish. Yeah, my mom's family has a place up in Michigan and we go there every summer. Sounds nice. Yeah. And I make lures as a hobby. And I brought you one as a gift. Like, I'm new to this neighbor stuff, but I gotta believe this is what they do. They say sorry, then they give each other fishing lures and roofing shingles. And I use the expensive paper. I see that. You made this? <laughs> It's nice. Hey, who knows, maybe it'll help you catch some smallmouth. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> I think uh, Kurt was saying that you're, you're catching mostly bluegill right now, is that right? Thanks. He's going to be harassing you for one of these if it works. So are we all right? We will be. All right, see you, George. Yeah. It's Kurt. Tell him I'm busy. I told him you were out here. He said it was important. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> I'm getting ready to go for a walk. Um, by the way, I'm proud of you. Um. What's up? Well. Well what? What happened to you helping me with it? Hey, you weren't home. That's on you. Oh, shoot. So? It was good stuff, wasn't it? It was all right. All right, man. Hey, listen, I'm just checking in. Uh, we going out tomorrow? Sure. Y you know, uh, your neighbor, Josh, he likes to fish. Maybe we should take him with us sometime. Maybe. All right, man. I got to get back at it. I'll see you tomorrow. All right, man. See you. All right. Hey. Okay.
got there. Cashew chicken, did you eat yet? Uh, I could eat again. Oh, I'm starving. <laughs> Aww, I wish I had a camera. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome home, Anne. Uh, don't worry, I'm not sweaty yet. Aww. <laughs> Aww. I know Josh is happy you're home. Uh, he was missing on you something fierce today. Mm -hmm. Look at that little face. <laughs> you two are adorable. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. Oh, I didn't properly thank you for those brownies you brought by the other week. Aww. They were amazing, Anne. <laughs> You're quite the baker. They came straight out of the box. <laughs> but thank you. So, are you going for a run? Oh, no, just a walk. Uh, but you're a runner, because I think I saw you the other morning on my way to work, yeah? Yeah. Mm. I run like a huge dork. What? So I <laughs> try to get out there before anybody else wakes up. <laughs> Honey, <laughs> if I had your body, I would run down Hamilton Avenue during rush hour so that everybody could see me. <laughs> Am I right? Am I right? Whatever. Thank you. <laughs> but hey, I'm out every evening, so if you ever want to join me. I would love that. OK, cool. Cool. <laughs> well, I'll let you two cuties get on the TV. Okay. Okay. Bye, Tia. Bye. Do we have the nicest neighbors ever or what? <laughs> what? Nothing. Nothing. I agree with you 100%. I'm a seashell running for sure I'm gunning for peaceful places A slow step pace And I'm all covered with earth It's dirt of the worst kind Stuck to me one part enemy Taking part of me down to where I'm dry and known I'm a one-trick pony, a circus phony, a clown in makeup. I mime my way through the crowd. I'm small, but I'm loud. It sounds like a one-note symphony. Playing empathy, saying, follow me down to where I'm solo bound. It's parody, this kind of company. Well, I. It's one part will having a heart to steal. I'm coming back, you see. I'm a ray. Hurricane one who brings the rain thick with malice We take down palaces trying to hold it at bay I make the mistake of thinking I just might fix it I just might mix up the right combination of being and off It's parody, this kind of company Well, I It's warm.